Well, we've been following the Dothan City School restructuring plan since Dr. Phyllis Edwards introduced four possible scenarios last month. Dr. Edwards' goal is to close underutilized schools in the district. Now, tonight, the Dothan City School Board held their 11th listening session to hear the concerns of parents. WDHN reporter Sarah Drake joins me in our studios to give us an update on tonight's session. Sarah? Good evening, Mike. Well, the Dothan School Board held their 11th listening session tonight at Beverly Middle School. Now, the way these work is parents who signed up to speak, they have three minutes in front of the board to give their opinions without comments from the board. One of the biggest takeaways from tonight's meeting was the way the magnet schools are closing. I think a lot of parents here would probably say the same thing. The reason they came to the school system and or the reason they're still in the system is because of the magnet program. I need to understand what next year looks like, and not necessarily for me, but for my daughter who's currently attending a magnet school, and for my son who my wife and I hoped would follow in her footsteps in the magnet program. While many parents are asking why the magnet schools need to be closed, others are asking what's the rush? I think the community and even board members still have unanswered questions on how the current proposals can affect those in the areas. And until we have clarification, the board should not vote. So what is the rush? Why do we have to vote next month? We're not talking about changing one school in an effort to see how that goes and revamp that over the course of the next few years. We're talking about upending an entire city. And it wasn't just parents who participated in the listening session, as a group of students also stood in front of the board to give their opinion of the restructuring plan. We believe that friendship is also an important part of education. Several of our friends have been together for a very long time and have been very close friends to each other. These friends don't all live in the same schools or the district. So we will be very happy. And Mike, the board is expected to narrow down the direction they're going in October. And Dr. Phyllis Edwards will ask the board to vote after giving her recommendation in November. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sarah.